choses ont changé de façon beaucoup plus profonde qu'on imagine. Et croyez bien que Jean-Net a poli les frontières, qu'Internet a poli les territoires, qu'Internet est une dimension historique de permettre à notre époque de prendre pleinement conscience d'elle-même. Sarkozy did acknowledge in his speech that government does not own the Internet. Nonetheless, he then put his stake in the ground and claimed sovereignty to regulate it. He claimed that behind security and privacy and copyright and so on. And I fear that we see a government coming in believing that they do, in fact, think they can own and regulate the Internet. And if this government can do it, why shouldn't every other government, including China and Iran and Libya? Take you the floor. Finally, with digital, we can bring the world's greatest thinkers to every student, anywhere in the world, at very low cost. We hope the G8 will strongly affirm that the property rights of artists and creators are more than a matter of protecting cultures. Small businesses to trade on eBay and, and, and have that community. It's all about being able to get to people as they really are form real communities, and do it in modes of discovery. We use Facebook to plan our demonstration, Twitter to coordinate our actions, and YouTube to inform the rest of the world. Part of your DNA, in some way, we have outsourced certain parts as an individual. Create your own services. For other people are dependent upon you and you're part of an important piece of the knowledge or commerce economy. What's interesting to me is how quickly these things grow now. And that's a consequence of globalization of the internet. It goes very quickly. At that point, they can become a platform ecosystem and people are drawn to running on top of it. Uh, as being considered by, uh, by many, including uh, in the European level, uh, while the current uh, generation of networks and platforms, uh, we have been able uh, to sustain garage in university anywhere in the world, uh, and somehow they're able to build something which then takes off. I think what doesn't do any good is uh, a, a polarized notion that either it's total regulation or none. That it's, 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 and I think President Sarkozy hit it in his opening when he's talked about uh, establishing a dialogue, a dialogue between the, the policy makers and the, the, the internet platform providers, and, and this is a good, a good first step in that. I do get the sense that, uh, that Sarkozy's genuine in, in actually seeking feedback from the internet community, um, from the, you know, sort of the, the, the large businesses, from Wikipedia, from civil society, um, with a view towards saying, look, if there are legitimate problems and we need to solve them, we should at least proceed in a way that the people who actually run the internet and know how it works mm -hmm. will tell us, actually, yes, that makes sense. We've seen so, so many pieces of legislation that actually make no sense at all and don't help at all. Okay. 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 Okay.